Hi, this is Steve. Welcome back to Scale Model Kit Review. In this video, I continue to build the Agora Models Shelby GT500 Super Snake. Now, I am on Pack 5, Stage 38. So, if you haven't done so already, head over to Agora Models and subscribe to this car today. It's fantastic. So, let's get started. who can take the cars right up to the maximum. Welcome back. And of course this is the final stage for pack 5. And this is the completed uh, model so far from pack 5 where we were working on the dash the pedals, the floor, and all that. Then we have the back half of the floor that's going in in this stage. Now, the reason why I'm showing you the completed stage is because I lost the videos of me assembling this. But I'm going to do my best to walk you through the assembly of this without having to take this completely apart because I did have to super glue some stuff in place. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and look at the parts. Uh, that come with this kit. Now, like I was say, saying earlier in previous builds, you can head over to Agora Models and download uh, the manuals there. So right there you'll be able to download Pack 5 manual for this and uh, you can go from there. So we're already up on stage 38 with this. So you can see here is the parts list for stage 38 and the first thing we see is the rear floor assembly and that's this right here the rear floor is this part back okay so um, also we did receive the front seat belts the passenger seat belt anchors and nine including one spare type MP01 screws so for step one, we're going to fit the front seat belt anchors. You want to align the lugs on the passenger seat anchors with the holes on the right side of the rear floor as shown. Push the two pieces together so they snap into position. Repeat this operation for attaching the driver's seat belt anchor on the opposite side. So I'm actually going to show you how I did the driver's side here. And here's the anchor itself. And of course here's a close-up of that anchor and it has two, two pins that go into the floor. You have a long pin and a short, uh, small pin. So you can see how it, how it sets up there on your floor. And we're actually going to go right there on those two holes. And it simply snaps in place just like that. Step two, we're going to attach the front floor assembly to the rear floor. Take the front floor assembly and align it with the rear floor. Snap the two pieces together as shown. Ensure that the holes and lugs are correctly fitted together as indicated by the five arrows. Gentle pressure might be required for the center lug. Use MP01 screws to fix the pieces together in the order indicated by the numbers. Please keep the remaining type MP01 screws safely for use in a later stage. So we'll turn this over and we're going to put the two MP01 screws in. Next is the final step, which is step three, fit the front seat belts. Take one of the front seat belts and align it with the groove in the floor. 
The Cobra badge should face upwards at the opposite end. Place the end of the seatbelt through the slot and snap it to the projecting post on the other side of the floor. Press to fix in place. Repeat the operation for the remaining seatbelt on the opposite side of the floor. Some expert advice here. Using tweezers may make it easier to push the end of the seatbelt through the slot. A small piece of masking tape will ensure that the ends don't pop off the post before this floor is fixed in place. But don't cover any of the other slots or holes. So I simply took and, and slid the seatbelt in through this slot here, making sure that the Cobra logo is on top. And that's very detailed. I'll give you guys a close-up of that. From the other side, it slides through and it is fixed in place on this tab. And I used some super glue to hold it in place. I also had to use an X-Acto blade to ream out the slot a little more on the other side so it would fit through a little easier. And, and that's what the seatbelts look like when it's done. And that completes stage 38. It was a lot of fun building this. I apologize for losing my videos for this, but I did the best that I could to show you how this is assembled. It's a blast. So stay tuned for Pack 6 coming up very soon with all eight stages. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to get as many subscribers as possible. And hit the bell for all notifications. Head over to agoramodels.com and subscribe to this car today. It's fantastic and you won't regret it. Happy modeling everybody and take care.